Hi, I'm from Social Research Insights and today in this video cast I'm going to explain you how to do the high toes keys test of matrix singularity uh, through LibreOffice Calci installed in uh, Ubuntu version number 14.04 and this high toes keys uh, test of si the matrix singularity is in fact the third important test uh, mm, that we need to do while performing exploratory factor analysis and there is a wonderful uh, description to the, the to the method of computing the high toes keys test of matrix singularity by by professor Reynard John Reynard of uh, the Calif California State University he gives the formula mm, for the high toes keys uh, test of singularity uh, and he also mentions that the 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 this for the, the the value calculated through this formula roughly follows the chi square distribution so we don't have the problem to find the p value uh, after calculating the hi toes case uh, the singularity measure okay so now i'm going to show you how to do that in libreoffice calci is uh, which is very uh, powerful for the statistical and mathematical calculations uh, this is my data set. I have five data variables uh, measured uh, through Likert scale with uh, five items where one stands for the complete highly um, uh, strongly disagree and five stands for strongly agree. And now the, requ the requirements to perform the high toes case uh, mm, singularity test is first uh, we have to compute the the multivariate co correlation coefficient matrix and from the matrix we have to find the debt the determinant of that matrix by merely looking at the value we can come to the conclusion if the determinant is zero or not if the determinant is zero then uh, then the 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 data set is not fit for the exploratory factor analysis and the determinant must be must be very close to one which means that it is not singular if the determinant is zero, then it is singular, where the intercorrelations are are significantly high. Intercorrelations are very high, and uh, we may not be able to use this data matrix for the exploratory uh, factor analysis. Uh, but as such, we may not be able to come to the conclusion that whether this data set is fit for the exploratory factor analysis or not by merely looking at the determinant of uh, correlation matrix. We need to do some statistical test of uh, significance uh, where the null hypothesis uh, will be that the the matrix is singular and the alternative hypothesis is that the matrix is not singular so the the alternative hypothesis is the study hypothesis and it will be uh, it I it shows the favor for the factor analysis and for that we need to compute uh, the the high toes case uh, measure of singularity with the help of this formula where where the high case measure h is equal to 1 plus 2 k plus 5 plus 6 where the k is the number of variables minus n n stands for the total number of data points in the data set log 1 minus data r so this data we already com computed here it is 0.644 and we just have to substitute rest of the values in this formula and um, there is also another version of this uh, formula where the determinant is computed for the covariance matrix instead of the correlation matrix so that way also we can do that but anyway mm, when 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 performing the factor analysis it is customary that we 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 compute the correlation matrix so anyway we'll be having the correlation matrix so better to use the we'll be having both the covariance matrix and correlation matrix while performing the exploratory factor analysis so I'm going to find the determinant uh, of the correlation matrix and let me see if this data set is uh, valid for the exploratory factor analysis or not so the significant test uh, to do this significant test, first I calculated the k value. You can see that formula bar columns. This is actually the function that deals to compute, that wi which computes the number of columns, which means the number of uh, mm, variables in the study data set. So we can use the columns here 23 each 23. So it will give you the, there are five columns, uh, I mean data variables in my study, and the total number of points 30 multiplied by 5. So 150 data points, and uh, this is the second part of the uh, 
the the formula that is 1 plus 2p by 2k plus 5 by 6 so I computed the 2k plus 5 by 6 straight away uh, in order to substitute this value I computed the 2k plus 5 by 6 uh, in order to substitute uh, this value straight away in the formula and after that the, the other part of the formula log 1 minus dead r so uh, so I substituted all these values you can see from the formula bar 1 plus h25 h25 is uh, 2k plus 5 by 6 and mm, uh, minus wait a minute uh, minus n Mi minus n n is actually the h uh, uh, 24 uh, so 2k plus 5 by 6 minus n multiplied h26 h26 we have log 1 minus data so we'll get the final value of the high case uh, measure uh, in my case it is 65.44 so by merely looking at the value it is uh, it is pretty easy to to infer that that we w the value is rather significant but let let us check uh, by computing the the theoretical value for the chi square distribution for 10 degrees of freedom at 5% significance level the the chi square value is going to be 18.30 which is less than the calculated value so we have enough evidence uh, in the data set uh, in support of alternative hypothesis which is actually the the favorable situation to perform the effect analysis. So I also cross-checked my inference with the help of p-value, which is very close to zero. So the 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 intercalations are highly significant. Mm, the the actually the the correlation matrix, the determinant of the correlation matrix, significantly different from zero. So that is how we have to interpret the the p-value. So this is the the procedure to compute the Hydro's case uh, uh, singularity test uh, for factor analysis. Thank you.